Final five of the Agua Caliente District. Welcome back to Tribal Council. Here in the finale episode of I Survivor 33, the comeback season. Congratulations to you guys. Carlos, what's up, buddy? Hello. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? You're okay. You you just won a mutiny. Why do you why is there okay? Like so down. I mean, like, I am happy that I want immunity, but like now, like the decisions are getting tougher. And like, to be fair, like I play very, like very close for every person that's left in the final five, um, this game. So just choosing to eliminate one, it's like, not only one, tonight we're putting out two. I mean, I could be the next one, but like for for this one, I know I'm not gonna be the next one. Um, and having to write someone of anybody's name tonight is gonna be hard, you know? um so what's harder what's harder voting somebody out tonight or wasting two months and losing the game or at door not wasting spending two months playing this game and losing wouldn't it be much better to look back and win the game than look back and i feel like you might look back and regret losing the game opposed to looking back and feeling bad that you voted out somebody at the final five See, and that's the thing. I think like three years ago, me would have said like, I'd rather be hated and win than like lose and be loved. Um, but like, I think that like now, um, especially there's people here that like, I built a, a, a bond and like a relationship with that like, it's almost like, and I think in my position as well, like I think that if I'm going to lose, which is kind of like based on like the reaction like, you know what i've heard about the jury is a very likely thing to do that i want somebody that i cared for very strongly and somebody that i played this game very closely to win um what if there were money on the line would that strategy change for you at all um i think it depends because like obviously i'm, I'm gonna give myself my the best chance possible to win at the end right i think i'm comfortable in my gameplay and i think i'm like confident in my gameplay to be able to sell my gameplay to the jury however if i feel like the jury is going to vote based on like who they personally like the most not based on like the story or like the the gameplay that was played the season um if there was money involved i almost rather you know somebody that i'd be like good job like it wasn't me but hats off to you win that money and that reward even if i wanted it because obviously i'm playing to win myself but if i can like only one person is gonna win you know um i would rather that than like lose to somebody that i felt like i played a better gameplay than them and then be like damn like i feel like i played way better and way harder than this person um but this person beat me and i like destroyed me at the end mm -hmm. With that being said, what do you base your vote on tonight, going into the final four? Um, well, I'm I'm not expecting to vote in the majority at all tonight. I'm basing my vote on the person that I've least connected to, um, and least loyalties have to in within the five. Um, but I'm surely not expecting that person to go home, and I feel like it would be kind of chaotic, and I'm gonna have to might have to be making a decision between two people that I really really like tonight at the revote. So you think it's going to be a tie with five people? I think so. Does that worry anybody here? Does that en worry anybody? Carlos is safe and he's saying there's probably going to be a tie. Who is worried that they're going to be in a tie? <laughs> I think that it's, I feel like it's, you know, it's gotten to the point where we're all worried. like. Yeah, it's definitely gotten to the point where it's definitely not going to be a tie. You see Tamika over there counting. She's like, no, it's not going to be a tie. But um, most definitely, um, yeah, it's it's going to be fuck up. I, it's, it, it's gotten to the point where we, we have to make choices where we're going to feel really, really fucked up at the end of this, you know? But it is what it is. It's a game. Adam, is this a tough choice for you as well as Carlos and Enid have both described? Yeah, it's a really tough choice. And I I think regardless of what, you know, all of the jury thinks, this is, like, I couldn't be prouder to be in this final five with these people. Um, they, they're just really 
really great people and I I'm honestly I'm just like so happy to like be here and I I don't know it, it's just you think it's not gonna get any harder than a pass vote and it just gets worse and worse and worse so what happened in the challenge because you were in the lead for that like I'm I thought that was I, you almost you were like this close to stealing your third immunity win in a row what happened you know what I had imagined when we got the um, don't rush videos of for just our tribes. I remember the alley was at the end. And so I'm thinking, oh, duh, it's alley. And, yeah. and I didn't even, it just completely just, or her strumming her damn guitar saying, bye y'all or whatever. And that's just, that's what I thought it was. And I thought, you no, know, maybe I shouldn't do it just in case. And, you know, do it is what it is. Do you think having won the past two individual immunity necklaces, you've been safe for two tribal councils in a row? Now that there's only five people left, one in four shot of going home, do you think that that makes you a target tonight because you have been pulling out those immunities? I think it makes me a partial target. And also with the last vote, um, I I was not a part of the last vote and, and I thought I was going to be. Um, Is this so you left out? Um, hurts your game? I think pro I think my reaction probably could have been a little bit more subtle, but I was uh, I was just kind of frustrated and I I was told that it it wasn't a big deal, but I could kind of tell by the vibes, especially right after the challenge ended, I'm like, okay, this is not the best situation to be in for me. Odd, if you were left out of the vote at a final six vote going into the final five, would you feel on the outs? Yes. Are you feeling vulnerable tonight, even though you were in the majority at the previous Tribal Council? Always. Like I always say, I always feel vulnerable. How does it feel to be um, make it this deep? What have you done to ensure that you are not going home? Um, just stick with the people I trust. Stick with the people I trust and uh, we'll see what happens. And if that trust takes you to the end but costs you the game, is that a risk you're willing to take? <laughs> yes. Yes. Derby, yes. for you, is that a risk you're willing to take? What's the matter? This one sucks. What sucks? I'm not on Skype. I'm here, honey. I don't know what I'm going to do. Does it concern you, though, that even though, like, let's say you trust some people right now in the final five, and the trust takes you to the end. Does it concern you that, yeah, I'm going with trust, but you're going to end up losing the game? Like what what determines your vote? Is it who I can beat in the end or who's gonna get me there? At this point, who's gonna get me there? I have been left out of votes the last two times. I'm not feeling real safe. How do you turn that being left out of votes, going with, trust right now, how do you turn that into a winning argument? I mean, I've been called a floater time and time again. And I think that is the jury's perception of me. Who do you want to be sitting next to? So you're using that as it's an argument? To start thinking for yourself, not anyone else. What are you basing your vote on tonight, Derbs? I don't have a fucking clue right now. I don't All right, guys. I really don't. I really don't. I'm going to wrap this <laughs> up. I'm going to give everybody one last opportunity. The floor is yours. State your case, why you should be here. If you have somebody to convince to do something, this is your last opportunity. I'm leaving the floor to you. Otherwise, we're getting to the vote. All right, each of you get your Skype PMs to me. 
open on your screen now. The votes have been locked and tallied. The decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to the chop counselor immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote. Derby. Adam. It's one vote for Derby, one vote for Adam. Adam. It's two votes, Adam. Odd. It's one vote odd, one vote derby, two votes Adam. Last vote. Odd. We have a tie. Two votes for odd, two votes for Adam. What's gonna happen now? is Adam, odd, you're not gonna vote. Derby, Enid, Carlos, I need you to re-vote. However, I'm gonna give Adam and odd one last opportunity. You guys have 30 seconds, Adam unmute, state your case, why they should keep you. You know where I've laid this entire game. Um, I've been very loyal, I've been honest. I've, I haven't betrayed you guys, so hopefully, I mean, whatever happens, happens, but I'm letting you know. Odd, 30 seconds. Oh, I'm shocked. I didn't know I was getting any votes there. Um, please save me. Um, I have been very loyal, and uh, it was down to the final five. Things are very difficult, very difficult. So please save me. Thank you. All right, three votes. That's what I'm looking for. One, two, three. Enid, Carlos, Derby, re-vote now. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. Person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. First vote. Adam. Odd. It's one vote for Adam and one vote for Odd. The 19th person voted out of I Survivor Oak Creek Canyon. Odd. Ugh. Odd. Two votes in the re-vote is majority. Could have easily voted out Derby, but I didn't. You need to bring me your torch. The tribe has spoken, Odd. All right. Thanks, guys. I was loyal as fuck. That's all I could say. Odd, as a recruit, as a last minute recruit, dude, I didn't know what to expect, but you brought it. I know you were juggling a couple of games, but I know deep down you were loving I Survivor the most, and that's all that matters to me, man. I really hope you enjoyed what Noah and I created, and I hope that you... I know it, it hurts to get this far. I'm going to fuck shit up in the jury, I'll tell you that. That is that is all I ask from you from here on out. You are Whoever fucked me over is not winning. Watch. Watch. Odd, you're off to the jury, my friend. However, you, Sandy, you're awesome. Thank you, bud. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sir. You'll get a gushy message from me on Facebook, just like everybody else. All right. Yeah. Thanks. You get to uh, sit back, join the jury. You can mute. What's going to happen now? Final four. We're going to do a challenge live here. It is a puzzle. I'm gonna link it in the Skype chat, Agua Caliente. The first person to complete this puzzle, it's unlike any puzzle you've seen thus far. It's not a jigsaw, it's not a slider. I'm going to link an image. It is a puzzle, it is a coded 
puzzle, you need to decode it first. Type the code in the in our Skype chat in Agua Caliente and scream it on call. Say, Sandy, I'm done. I have the answer. And you scream that motherfucking code out loud. You got it? So is it on Zoom or? No, I'm going to link it in the Skype chat. This is your key. Look at it. Everybody see the key? It, I just linked it. Type, I see it in the Skype chat, please. Or yes. Adam sees it. Enid sees it. Carlo sees it. And Derby sees it. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. I've just linked it. It's loading. There you go. Solve that code. First person to solve it wins immunity. Good luck. This is what it all comes down to. This is your final challenge. Two months comes down to this. A seven word phrase. Tonight you're a sucker from FISA making? No. <laughs> Get up her. Can I say it? Yeah, if you have it. Tonight you are safe from fire making? Tonight, Adam, you are safe from fire making. Congratulations. Thank you. Congrats, Adam. Adam, congratulations. You are safe from fire making. You have earned yourself a spot in the final three. Enid Derby Carlos, can't say the same for you. Adam, guess what? Oh no, please no. You have a decision. You have three people. You've played this game alongside Enid, Derby, Carlos. You're taking one of them to the final tribal council with you right now. I'll give you a minute to think about your decision. Does anyone want to prove themselves? Um, I mean, I'll just make a plea because I would just have to, I guess. Um, Adam, I made like the hardest decision I could have done this game last round when it was between you and I. Like I tried my hardest to make sure that it was it wasn't it wouldn't come down between you guys, and it did. Unfortunately, as much as I tried, it didn't. I made a decision because I promised you early in this game that me giving giving you the thing to my idol was a sign that I was gonna go all the way with you. And that was the one thing I was gonna take, and that was the one thing I was gonna stay with. Unfortunately, like Odd and I had a great bond and stuff and game relationship, but like you and I were blood, and we're not blood, but you know what I mean. Um, it's been fun playing this game with you, and like whatever decision you make, um, I understand it, but I'd love to be sitting at the with you. Enid, do you wanna stay your case? Adam, I know, you know. Obviously, we haven't been, you know, that close in the game. I've tried my best. Um, how can I say? I can't say that I wanted to go against certain people for you. I obviously, you know, odd with somebody who I 
had a relationship with and I did not want Ob to leave. I did what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, at the end of the day, it's your choice. You're gonna choose who you want to choose and I can't change that. I respect you as a person. I respect you as a player and you gotta do what you gotta do, baby. Derby, stay your case on mute. Um, so at this point, do what's best for your game. But I do think Carlos and Enid should make fire to separate yourself from Carlos. We've talked about that. You know where I'm going with this. Adam, and make your decision now. I'm making this decision based on the fact that it is not my type of gameplay to take what other people would perceive as a floater to the end. Uh, I'm going to fight hard, I'm going to prove myself, and I'm going to make sure I can show that I deserve the win. And if I don't, the person that should get it is also deserving, so I'm going to take Carlos. Carlos! Congratulations, go sit over next to Adam. You are a finalist in I Survivor 33, buddy. Good job. I'm sorry the other two, I really am. All right, Enid, Derby. I know you guys have these items because we used them the other day. Get me a card a, and a tablespoon and a teaspoon and you need to situate your camera accordingly. A tablespoon, a teaspoon, and a debit card. Good luck. Whoever is the last one holding the spoon, the card on the spoon, is in the final travel council, ladies. All right. All right, get ready. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Derby, let go. Perfect. Fuck, my cat is at my feet. Uh-oh. <laughs> Everybody pay attention. Help me watch them. This is for a spot at the final tribal council. Two months playing this game comes down to a spoon and a card for you two ladies. like I'm shaking. You gotta get into the zone. You need to dig deep. This could go on for a while. Yeah. Derby falls. Enid, congratulations. Congratulations. Good job. Enid, you are gang, in gang, gang, for gang. tribal council. Derby. I'm so sorry, Derby. Oh, sorry, Derby. Derby. Good game, Derby. Good game. Derby, Derby you played a good, good game, game baby. Much. Honestly, Derby, I want to tell you, you had probably the hardest start to this game with being a target of Ida 
being shot out by the Cassidy tribe, you <laughs> were on your last leg of life by episode three. The fact that you've made it to episode 15, Derby, girl, ain't nobody could ever take that away from you. Even if they think that you were a sheep, a goat, a floater, Derby, I know more than anybody that you had a method to your madness. You knew, you have, you've had, like, this is something that me and Noah would talk about all the time, about Derby's intuition. Derby, you had the best intuition in this game. You knew what was going on, like, episodes before other people. And it's just a shame that it, 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 what was in your head and what you knew didn't translate in what people perceived. But that's just how the game works. You fucking slayed this game, hun, from start to finish. Derby, I am so proud of you comparing this to Jordan. You have redeemed yourself a million fold. I think you did great. Um, I'm so proud of you. Um, I'm so happy to see you got so far in this game. And you were such a pleasure to watch and listen to in your confessionals. You were an all-star, Derby. And I really hope that you enjoyed this game. That's all I ever want people to do is have fucking fun in something that Noah and I create. So if you had fun, then I've done my job. And thank you. Can I say something to Derby? Of course, Enid. I want to tell, um, I want to tell Derby that um, from the moment that I hit her up, like, I've been talking to Derby since the beginning of, you know, the game, since the moment that um, Town Square opened. Derby has been one of the first people that had contacted me. And from the moment that I hit her up and told her that I wanted to work with her with, um, with creating our badge and things like, I loved her. She was amazing. I was heartbroken when Derby did not trust me because even though there were people out there who I, you know, who I told that I was going to be loyal to, I kind of turned my back on them for her. And it was because I trusted her. And I thought that regardless of what people thought that we were getting dragged to the end, like, no, fuck that shit. Like there was a lot of fucking games that we made it like at the top and we did what we had to do. So Derby, you're fucking awesome. And I would love to play another game with you. You're amazing. And I'm sorry that you had to go. Carlos, Adam, other finalists, you guys could say goodbye to Queen Derbs. Derby, I, I just want to say thank you for like coming into the season with an open mind. I know it wasn't hard for you. To, it was I very still hard. hate you. No, I'm just <laughs> I know it was hard for you to trust me, but like I really, really appreciate it because at some point in the game, you're one of the people that I trusted the most. Um, I'm sorry it didn't work out for you, but I think that you played, you were very underestimated by every single person in this game, including myself. And I remember at times on calls, I would hear you say things like, oh, like I'm just being dragged, I'm gonna float it. And I was like, Derp, like as, as much as I could, because I was also competing against you. I was like, Derp, you gotta have confidence in your game. You gotta like, if you make it to the final tribal council, you gotta own that game. Like own your game because I knew what you were doing and I knew that everybody's perception of you of being a floater or just being dragged around was wrong. So next game you play, whenever that is, if it's tomorrow or like years from now, be confident in your game because you got it. Adam. And trust. Trust, there's people that actually got your back there. By the way, trust. you guys can plead your case on Saturday because I don't know who I'm voting for. You guys can stop. <laughs> <laughs> me over because I don't care. You're going to have to plead your case. And so you guys can stop. Derby, can I still say something anyway? No, each and every one of you is on my shit list right now. You're going to have to earn my vote. Okay. You can say something quickly, Adam. You can still say it since it's just, just fair game and we'll send her off to the jury. I just wanted to say, like, game aside and regardless of jury vote, I don't even care about that. I, I really appreciated getting to know you in this game and I really appreciate you being by my side, especially in the past few rounds, and it means a lot to me. And this isn't the outcome that I I wanted and I'm, I'm really sorry if this happened, but I, I appreciate you a lot. So thank you. 
Derby, it's time to bring me your torch. The tribe and spoons and a card. The spoken. Carlos, Adam, you've gone as far as you can in this game. All your time and energy has been worth it because you are what we call I Survivor finalists. Only two people a season, sometimes three people a season, get that honor. So congratulations. I hope you wear that title proudly. I'm proud of each and every one of you. It's up to the people that you're looking at. All these little square boxes around you. The power now turns to the jury on the edge. Lisa! We're here tonight who will decide your vote. There are more, but here tonight, Abby, Mike, Drew, Tymika, Rocky, Heather, Lisa, Odd, Derby, Zach, Sharonica, and Allie are members of your jury. They will crown the next Soul Survivor. I will see you guys on Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern for the finale and reunion. Thank you so much for an awesome season. Let's wrap this up with a bang, y'all.